As Enrico and his brothers Angelo and Pep transform their illegal cassette business into Italy's top-selling label, the story is chronicled in the movie. Their cassettes, marked mixed by Airy, went viral and had a profound cultural impact. However, as their success increases, the finance police's focus on their questionable business strategy also increases. Here is everything you need to know about the conclusion of Mixed by Airy, if you're interested in learning how this company affects the Fratasio brothers' lives. Spoilers ahead. Brothers Airy, Pep, and Angelo live with their father Pasquale, who makes a career by selling fake whiskey in a home that is insecure financially. Each sibling chooses a different and independent route as they get older. Ari and Angelo attempt to convert their tiny mixed-up commission company into a store that sells counterfeit record cassettes after losing their jobs, though. As a result, they are forced to ask Don Mario for a loan of 8 million lire so they may purchase the tools they need to properly and efficiently record albums. Their store makes a hefty profit, and the brothers are able to pay off their debts with ease. Ari pitches his idea to branch out and sell the tapes to other towns. As they expand their business, Ari and Pep get in trouble with a Moroccan mafia boss and reach out to fresh out of Juvi Angelo for help. After solving the Moroccan mafia problem, Angelo officially joins the business, which rapidly grows and becomes the center of Forcella. The Fratasio brothers equip numerous employees and new laboratories where they produce their pirated cassettes. Music becomes more accessible to the youth, and Ari becomes a local celebrity and finally realizes his dreams of becoming a DJ. Soon, the cops raid the mixed by Ari record store, but can't arrest the brothers due to lack of evidence and gravity. In retaliation, the brothers legitimize their business through paperwork and double their production resources. People begin selling their pirated cassettes as the Fratasio brand expands, which worsens the nation's piracy issue. The Fratasios eventually struck an exclusive arrangement with Milan-based big-shot Italian manager Arturo Maria Barambani, who also provides them with massive quantities of blank cassettes. They also learn about compact discs, a recent development in the audio industry. A few years later, Fratasio's company Mixed by Airy captures 27% of the market and overtakes all other record labels in sales in the nation. In order to combat piracy in Italy, the ministry allots special money, with Ricciardi in command of the division. How did the police catch Enrico Fratasio? Ari and Arturo become good friends after the Fratasios and Arturo Maria Barambani get into a business alliance. Ari even names Arturo the godfather of Carmen, the daughter of Teresa and Ari. Arturo, though, works in the music distribution sector. As a result, he quickly learns about the pressure record companies applied on Italy's government to solve their widespread problems with piracy. Even though Arturo has always been aware of Fratasio's involvement in piracy, it isn't until he meets with the institution that he fully comprehends the scope of their business. Arturo consequently becomes anxious. The only provider to the mixed by Airy company is Arturo's business. Arturo becomes anxious as a result of the possibility that he and his crew will be caught in the crossfire. At first, Arturo tries to encourage Ari to shut down his company. Pirating has been a ludicrous business opportunity in Italy so far. Since Fratasios sit at the top of the piracy business, all three brothers are incredibly well off. Nevertheless, Ari insists they don't do this job for the money. Ari is extremely passionate about music and is known as a tastemaker across his wide range of customers. The Fratasios brothers grew up surrounded by petty illegal activities. Since the laws have always been so lax around such crimes, they don't recognize the criminality of their actions. After all, they're only making mixtapes. However, their mixtapes directly affect the sales of original records, robbing musicians and labels of their money. Finally, Arturo breaks and trades details about the Fratasios in exchange for immunity. Arturo has intimate understanding of the Fratasios business because of his close personal and professional relationship with them. The cops learn details regarding the locations of their company's labs, the management, the orders, and other things from Arturo. The Fratasios are taken into custody after Captain Ricciardi learns about these secret off-book documents, and a trial is held to determine their punishment. What happens to the Fratasio brothers?
The night before their trial, Harry, Angelo, and Pep stay in different prison cells. An elderly prisoner approaches Harry while he is dozing off with news from his younger brother Angelo. Harry is informed that Angelo has 30 million lire in cash stashed away at a construction site. Tennis courts will be erected on top of a cement-covered tennis court location. The brothers will have the opportunity to repurchase the property after the 10-year lease on the tennis courts expires. By doing this, the brothers will not have to worry about money when they are freed from prison, even if they are found guilty. The next morning, Teresa sends Ari a package with a suit for him to wear to his trial. The outfit is wrapped in a newspaper that consists of an article that catches Ari's eyes right before the trial. In the article, Ari learns about the Maastricht Treaty signed by 12 countries, including Italy. According to the newspaper, the Maastricht Treaty will replace all the currencies across the 12 countries with a common euro. Ari understands that Angelo's strategy won't benefit him or his brothers as a result. The judge asks Ari if he enters a guilty or innocent plea at the beginning of the trial. Ari's attorney has given strong instructions for Ari to refute all allegations and assert his innocence. Ari, however, just affirms his view that he is merely a DJ. Ari enters a guilty plea as a result, and the Fratacios are given a four-year and six-month prison term. Following their conviction, the Italian Copyright and Intellectual Property Protection Organization the Federation Against Music Piracy is established. Ari informs his brothers about the Maastricht Treaty, but Pep and Angelo are hesitant to accept his account. 